Hey gang, it's Rudder. Finally got some time to come out to the garage and do a couple power hours. And I got some got some stuff done. Not a whole lot. I've been uh, work's just been uh, super busy. I've been traveling. Um, a bunch of other stuff has gone on in my life that just have prevented me from uh, working on a car as much as I want to. Um, I got the spring purchase welded in there and there. Uh, I do need to touch up some of the welds on the sides, but. Other than that, you know, I think I think this is a done deal here. Um, the Rod and Custom stuff is is pretty well made, I gotta say. So this is I'm gonna call this uh, complete for now. Um, well, might as well call it complete. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld in. Um, I got a new battery tray, as I told you before. I removed the old one, uh, and that was actually pretty easy because it was rusted. Put on my glove and get my light because. Seems like it's the only time I work is during the night. All right. You know, I like to stay. All right. Right there, with my fingers tracing along. That was all rusted. Um, it, 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 that is not a final uh, fit. I still have to fiddle with it a little bit, so I just put it in there just to just to look at it right now to see how it looks from a uh, from this side. But yeah, there was a lot of rust in between there. And I welded in because the old uh, the old tray, if you remember, was I, I put a patch panel in there. In fact, I still got the piece in inside the car. Uh, seems like that's my all my sheet metal storage in here. But um, this piece, this piece was uh, pretty toasted. I mean, it, it's structurally sound. Uh, I could have ran with it, but as you can see, the poor 15 with the rust there, and on the end there, that thing would have rusted through in a matter of matter of probably years if I'd have kept the car on the road, and probably uh, or once I get the car on the road, I give it a year before this would rust out because it was pretty bad, and you can see the rust there from the poor 15 and the crappy patch panel that I put in, which now is that which looks better. So I don't know if I'm going to put a panel, a flat panel over that cut out around there and put a flat panel in uh, to somewhat mirror this side or I'm just gonna leave it like that and paint it. I don't know yet, I'm still up in the air. I may just put a panel in there and uh, be done with it and make it kind of match this side. Don't know yet, but uh, again, this is not the final fit. I just uh, mocked it up in there to see what I have to do. Um, I still got I got a I got a body book, so I'm gonna measure all this and make sure it's all square. Make sure it matches this side here. The distance between there and here is the same between there and there. Uh, that way the car is square because I don't need anything else wrong with the car right now. Speaking of which, I was uh, dinging around with the body hammer, and yeah, look at that. that that's that's freaking amazing right there. Yeah, that's, that's just cool. So. I thought this quarter panel was good, um, but that's that's. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty thick. Um, I wouldn't go. I'd say a quarter, maybe even more than that. It's kind of you know bad camera angle, but yeah, that's 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 pretty deep right there. And I'm willing to bet it probably spans. I mean, with the filler, it, I'm willing to bet it probably goes all the way around there. So uh, I'm thinking maybe a quarter. <laughs> A new quarter on this side, so yeah. I, I the more I dig into the body work, it kind of scares me because I don't know. I had this car painted. I didn't do the body work uh, this time. I think I had a body shop do it. I was, I don't think I was on an extended extended tour somewhere. I had money. I gave it. I gave it. Uh, the car was at my parents. I had them take it to a body shop and had them paint it. And yeah. That's that's freaking wonderful there. Uh, so if I can, I might just put a quarter on now. I'm gonna go ahead and tear it apart. Oh, I'm sorry, I went to grind that off and see what I find. I haven't had time to do the floor pan yet because I've been working on here. I figured uh, I was doing like four projects at once. I was doing a torque box, I was doing a floor pan, I was doing the cross member, I was doing the patch panel here. Yeah, I just went helter skelter on this. And of course then I went worse and tore that apart, but that was, uh, that was just simply spot weld cutting. I was already taking care of that stuff. There's a, uh, for your Mustang guys, you're gonna do this, there's a 
a reinforcement rib that goes, you can see where the, uh, where I drilled it out. Uh, there's a reinforcement rib where the shop tower is. You need to take that out when you put the panel or when you put your panels in. So when I did that, um, I cut the spot welds out. I only had a couple dozen more, about 10 on this side and 10 on the front end, as you can see here. So I wasn't that far from tearing that piece out anyway, so I just went ahead and did it. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna have to do that. Uh, take the panel, take the reinforcement rib. It's just a piece of steel, inch wide, about quarter inch thick, maybe a little bit less, maybe three inch thick, or um, um, 16th or so. But anyway, it's a pretty thick piece of metal and it uh, reinforces the shock towers there. So you gotta remove that to put those, put those panels in right there. I don't know if I'm gonna butt weld it yet or I'm just going to uh, uh, use my seamer and just stamp it and then put the panel over and just weld them from the back side. I don't know yet, I just might butt weld it. May look, that look better. Take a little longer, but I think it'll be a better product in the end. Um, speaking of which, talk about uh, spout wood cutters. I decided, I ordered one from Eastwood. Uh, I ordered an Eastwood spot weld cutter, but in the meantime, I went to Harbor Freight and I bought one of theirs uh, just, to, just to work. And there's what a Harbor Freight looks like. Of course, it's dual ends, you can swap ends. Here's what the Eastwood bit looks like. I broke it, so it usually has more teeth than that. Whoa, focus, dude. It usually has more teeth than that. But uh, I'm going to say the Eastwood cutter is by far the better choice for the money. I think I paid like six bucks for the Harbor Freight one. You can tell the difference. It's just like a, I don't know, like a chainsaw. And this one's got some really gnarly teeth on it, but man, it really cuts the, cuts the spot welds in no time flat. So, uh, I think I paid, from Eastwood, I think I paid 19 bucks plus shipping, and I think it was well worth it. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, the Harbor Freight one does work, but again, you get what you pay for and you see the difference. This is not temper, temper steel, it looks to me, it's just like a stamp steel. Whereas this bubble here, the Eastwood one, yeah, that's, that's a good little spot with cutter right there. Um, just don't drop it like I did, and you won't eat up the bits. Uh, I did grind some of the, Holes I filled in flat. Um, favorite tool time. Let me show you my favorite tool. This guy. That. My little Ingersoll Rand die grinder, 90 degree die grinder. This guy is my new buddy here. Take him around with me to the clubs. Oops, oops, oops. Yeah, anyway. Um, that's my new, that's my favorite tool right there. Uh, all right. Stickers. Anybody wants a Rudder Garage sticker? Because I'm about to start putting my stickers up. I'm going to get a piece of steel and maybe I'll go get a hood or something like that. Um, and put it over there and start putting the stickers I got. Because i got a, quite a few stickers I need to put up. So if anybody wants a Rudder's Garage sticker, simply PM me your address and I will toss one in the mail for you. Um, it's... Uh, it signifies something for me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm into symbology of somewhat. Uh, but obviously... The rudder is my call sign uh, for the garage gang and RG's rudder garage. And I'm in the military, so of course the tail flashing and the American flag. And then the 65 is the Mustang. So this that's that's where rudder's garage come from. It's a, you know it's a rudder of an aircraft, and that pretty much steers the aircraft, which the Air Force kind of steers my life. So uh, that's where I came up with the idea of rudder. Um, but yeah, if anybody wants a sticker, go ahead and PM me, and I'll shoot you one. And uh, yeah, they're yours. Uh, I also have some stuff. If somebody working on a Mustang, I know I got some more subscribers, which is really cool. I let's see if I can turn this around real quick without making people sick. Um, I got my welding hat on here. Yeah, I got uh, more subscribers, and thanks a lot, guys. I really, I really appreciate that. All the comments you left. I can't for some reason um, from my iPad. I can't respond to uh, uh, respond to the comments. So I'm sorry if I haven't responded to your comment. I really do try to get to every comment, but uh, my iPad is just acting goofy. I think it's, it has something to do with uh, uh, Google Plus. But and of course I try to do it from I'm busy at work, so I can't jump on work on YouTube and, and answer some of the comments. But I've been trying like heck, and I promise I promise I will get to all the comments. Uh, I just been really busy. Um, let me go back to the wiring harness. If anybody needs a wiring harness for a 65, it's not that good, but 
I mean, if you need pieces and parts of a wiring harness to 65, let me know. Uh, I'll kick you that. And also, if anybody needs, excuse me, uh, eight inch. This is off an eight inch rear. If anybody needs uh, the brake assemblies, I'm pretty sure he's got new uh, new stuff on. So I mean, that stuff is all new. Brake pads. I'm sorry, brake shoes, springs, the adjusters, the the cylinders, the wheel cylinders. All that stuff is pretty much brand new. So if you need that stuff for an eight inch, uh, eight inch rear, uh, let me know, and they're yours. Uh, you just pay shipping on those guys, and you can have them. Uh, other than that, I haven't been doing much to the car, like I said, because I've just been busy with work. I did. Uh, I think I told last time I got my floor pan in, um, but that's going to be the next. Once I get that in, uh, yeah, then I can do finish put, installing the torque box. And then the same on this side. And probably what I'll do is I'll, uh, as I'm learning more how to operate the camera and operate the vids and, and all that kind of good stuff, I'll probably set this up and make this a, uh, like some of you guys do, I'll just set the camera up and I'll just go to work, go to town. I really like the videos where I watch people working because it, it teaches me some stuff. Uh, so I really dig those videos. So I'm going to try to do that with this torque box. I'll set the camera up and I'll just start, you know, taking off all the, I think all the uh, stuff that I talked about in my other videos. Uh, those white lines right there, that's where you have to remove from the thought box. I think I discussed that in a previous video. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Make a, I guess a how-to torque box video. Um, but other than that, guys, um, just wanna wish you guys a happy new year. And hopefully we all have a good year. And I wish you everybody the best of luck and for the coming year. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it.